Base hit to begin the top of the first. Chihuahuas have Allen behind the plate. Vossler at third. Mejia's bringing it short. On the right side of the infield, Batten at second tonight, and France at first. Ramirez turns and throws over to first base, and back in Mateo. The outfield tonight for El Paso. Powell in left, Jankowski in center, Naylor in right. Ramirez deals, runner goes, pitch outside, Allen's throw, tag at second, is too late. Jorge Mateo steals second base. His 19th steal of the year. He's been caught 10 times. Dustin Fowler, the hitter. Ramirez set for El Paso. Long pause, the 1-0, slide step, fastball called strike. Brian Fields, today's home plate umpire. Emmanuel Ramirez from the Dominican Republic. Here's the 1-1. Swinging a ground ball to the shortstop, Mejia's Breen backpedaling, fields it, makes the throw at first, caught by France. Fowler's out, 6-3. Mateo ran to third and is there with one down in the first inning, no score. As you might be able to hear in the background, it is GECU Bark in the park tonight. Emmanuel Ramirez, 6'2", 190 pounds. Tonight is third AAA game of the season, fourth of his career. The pitch, fastball for a called strike. Left hand hitting Nick Martini, 339, four home runs and 33 batted in. Recently had a short visit to the major leagues. The 0-1, swing and a miss. Change up there. Ramirez will also use a fastball and a curveball. He's 0-1 with an ERA above 12, but again, that's just in two starts. Eight innings, 12 hits, 11 earned runs. Striking out six, walking seven. Tonight is first home game. That starts at Reno and Albuquerque on the Chihuahua's most recent road trip. El Paso winning six, losing four and then adding that suspended game win as well in the road trip. Swinging a ground ball to the second baseman, backhanded by Batten, he throws to first. They get the out there, but Las Vegas has a run on the board. 1-0 Aviators, and the bottom of the first for Travis Jankowski, left-hand hitter, the Chihuahua center fielder. White jerseys on, white pants for El Paso, Chihuahuas in red across the front. Here's the pitch, swinging a foul ball out of play. No balls, one strike. Las Vegas gray pants on, navy blue jerseys. Aviators written in yellow and orange across the front. The 0-1. Outside for a ball. One ball, one strike. Brian Howard, 6'9", 185 pounds. 24 years old, born in St. Louis. Went to high school there. 1-1, one, one, line drive foul into the left field stands right above the Chihuahua's bullpen. One ball, two strikes. Howard was an eighth round pick in 2017 out of TCU, was selected by the A's. This year previously was at AA Midland. 20 games there, all starts. 1-2 to Jankowski. Swinging a ground ball past the pitcher. Up the middle, backhanded by the second baseman, Joseph. Off balance throw, Jankowski's save. Infield hit to begin the Chihuahua's first inning. And up next, Boog Powell. Howard let it go. You could tell he intentionally kept his hands near his body to not run the risk of tipping the ball because he thought his second baseman was going to get it, which he did, but 
the off-balance throw. It didn't have as much force behind it. And Jankowski safe. This season at Midland, Howard, seven wins, seven losses, and a 2.97 ERA in those 20 games. The pitch. Breaking ball for called strike. 115 innings, 113 hits. Striking out 102, walking 35. So a good strikeout to walk ratio for Howard. He is in only his third pro season already at Triple A. Played four years in college. The 0 1. Bunted ball, third base side. Howard lets it go. Third base and noisy throws. Not in time. Two Chihuahuas infield hits. This one a bunt by Book Powell. Powell's aboard. So a ground ball base hit by Jankowski. A bunt single by Powell. And the Chihuahuas down 1 0, have two on base with nobody out. Next batter, Josh Naylor, batting 308. 10 home runs and 37 batted in. Las Vegas has Murphy behind the plate. Noisy starting at third today. Saw him in left field earlier in the series. Naylor takes a breaking ball for a called strike. Mateo at short, Joseph at second, Brown at first. Three infielders on the right side here for Naylor. And the outfield, Martini in left, Fowler at center, and Peyton in right. The 0 1 to Naylor. Breaking ball down low. One ball, one strike. A promising start to the Chihuahua's first inning. Two on base, nobody out, down by one. Howard delivers. Swing a line drive, right field. This one gets down. Chasing Peyton around third, Jankowski. He'll score to tie the game. Powell held at third. Naylor into second. 1 1 in the first inning. Line drive double by Josh Naylor to right. Three consecutive hits by the Chihuahuas. Powell ran first to third. And Jankowski's in to score. Next batter is Ty France. Batting 391 with 24 home runs, including three in his last two games. Howard delivers. It is high for a ball. France yesterday had a five hit game. And had an at-bat, had a shot for the first ever Chihuahua six-hit game, but he struck out. one 0 -oh. outside and low for a ball. Chihuahuas have second and third, no outs in the first inning, 1-1 one -one tie. Tie still does not have the required plate appearances to qualify. He would have the best batting average in the league once he does reach that point. A 2-0. Swing and a miss. Two balls, one strike. Ty France has 70 RBIs and 24 home runs in 59 games. Naylor at second, Powell at third. Nobody out, infield back. Set by Howard, and he steps off. So Las Vegas one run in the top of the first inning. Set by Howard. And the 2-1. France swings, hits it out of play to the right. Chihuahuas now with one run in the bottom of the first inning, and perhaps more to come with Powell at third and Naylor at seconds. Chihuahuas a shot tonight to get back to five games ahead. Back on the 13th of June, they had a seven and a half game lead. Las Vegas got it down to two. But the Chihuahuas back-to-back -back wins, getting it back up to four. A two, two. France swings and misses, strike three. One down for Austin Allen.
Brian Howard, a polished pitcher, having thrown four seasons for TCU. So the A's, after a short season campaign in 2017 at Vermont, sent him right to high A ball, hopping him right over a level in 2018. Did not pitch in low A. Pitch to Allen, taken for a call, strike. No balls, one strike. Austin Allen batting. Naylor at second, Powell at third. Ryan Howard set. And the 0-1. Allen swings, pops it up on the infield. The third baseman, Noisy, moving in on the grass. He's under it and catches. Two away. Nobody on base. And now Adderlin Rodriguez. Rodriguez, 314, nine home runs. He had 31 batted in. Howard steps off. 705 game Saturday, 605 game on Sunday. Howard to Rodriguez. Fastball down low. Ball one. Adderland yesterday was a triple shy of a cycle. He had two doubles. Chihuahuas did have a cycle last night by the on-deck hitter, Jason Vossler. The pitch. Swinging a fly ball, right field, slicing foul, and it goes into the stands. 1-1 one, one tie. First inning. Naylor at second, Powell at third. Count one ball, one strike on Adderlin Rodriguez. Howard is set. And the pitch. Inside for a ball. Two balls, one strike. Rodriguez, right-handed hitter. Howard, a right-handed pitcher. 2-1. Outside for a ball. Three balls and one strike. So the Chihuahuas coming in, winning two series in a row. One, two out of three at Albuquerque. One, two out of three at Las Vegas. And if you count the completion of the suspended game, one, three out of five prior to those two at Reno. 3-1. Swing and a fly ball hit well left field. Martini heading back near the wall. It is gone. Adderlin Rodriguez with a three-run homer. The Chihuahuas break the 1-1 tie. And lead 4-1. Rodriguez leaning out ahead, but got the barrel of the ball. Barrel on the ball. And was able to get enough on it to land it on the GECU green seats. As you watch on the video replay, he was leaning there on the front leg, but it carries out of here. 4-1 Chihuahuas, back at home for the first time since the 14th of July, a three-city road trip, the only one that Chihuahuas will have this year. Breaking ball outside there, one ball, one strike. Mejia Green batting 3-30. One of the top 10 averages in the league. Eight home runs, he had 47 driven in. He swings and misses. The count one and two on the first batter in the bottom of the seconds. In the bottom of the first inning, Josh Naylor hit an RBI double, and Adderlin Rodriguez hit a three-run homer, compiling the Chihuahuas four runs. One, two. Outside and low for a ball, stopped by Murphy. Two balls, two strikes on Mejias Breen. Matthew Batten on deck, and then Travis Jankowski to bat third this inning. He's the Chihuahua's leadoff hitter in the game. Brian Howard's 2-2. Two, two. Fastball just outside. Murphy tried to pull it back, but it goes for a ball. Three balls and two strikes. Wind and 3-2. Inside for ball four. Howard walking off the mound, preparing for the around-the-horn throw. He thought it was strike three, but he is Green takes the walk. 
That's the first walk by Chihuahua's hitting tonight. And up next, the number nine batter, Matthew Batten. When the Chihuahuas host an American League affiliate, the DH rule is used. Unlike the major leagues when they have interleague play, and it goes by ballpark, any minor league game involving an American League affiliate, the DH rule is in effect. Here's the pitch to Matthew Batten, runner at first goes, pitch is low, throw down to second, head first dive, Mejia's Green safe. Throw goes into center, but it got there too quickly to follow that Mejia's Green does not run to third. Stolen base for Seth Mejia's Green, his second of the season. Head first dive there. Don't see that a lot these days anymore, the stolen base. So a runner at second base now. Nobody out, second inning. And Batten, a base hit away from potentially bringing in Mejia's Brain. Tacoma leads the PCL with 110 steals. Just over one per game. Pitch inside for a ball, 2-0. The Chihuahuas have 45 steals in 101 games. The fewest this year, Oklahoma City with 37. Two balls, no strikes on Batten. Howard set. And the pitch. Swinging a line drive, right field, base hit, charging in Peyton. Lance Burkhardt holding Mejia's Green. Throw, cut off by the first baseman, Brown. Two Chihuahuas on base, no one out in the second inning. A base hit by Batten. Mejia's Green, a stutter step as he approached third base. He was held. A walk, a steal, they had a base hit, setting up first and third with no outs for Jankowski. Jankowski, left-handed hitter, one for one today with a base hit. His average moving. And this is 17th game with the team. Fastball low, ball one from the 6'9", righty Howard. Jankowski now hitting 286. But he is Breen at third base. Batten at first base. The Chihuahuas are ahead 4-1 to one in the second inning. Ryan Howard's 1-0. Line drive left field down the line. Martini toward the corner, catches it, tagging Mejia's Breen. No shot for a throw. The lob into seconds. Mejia's Breen scores, and it's 5-1 on a sacrifice fly by Travis Jankowski. Batten stayed at first, and is there for Boog Powell. Powell one for one. Base hit back of the first inning. Here's the pitch. It is a called strike. Even with those 19 hits last night, the Chihuahuas are still two hits behind Las Vegas for the league lead. 1,076 hits for Las Vegas, 1,074 for El Paso. Chihuahuas have the most home runs by far in the league, 205. Here's the pitch. Outside for a ball. One ball, one strike. Well, my apologies. For some reason, the website's still showing 205 home runs, but that is outdated. Of course, uh, that didn't sound right. Here's a called strike. Let's go over to the uh, paper stats here. Chihuahua's 214 home runs in 104 games. One ball, two strikes on Boog Powell. Here's the set and the pitch. Swinging a ground ball to the third baseman. Noisy fields it, fires to second, caught, relay, throw. Powell is safe. Two away, batting out at seconds. And Powell at first base on a fielder's choice. So the Chihuahuas, 214 home runs in 104 games. The team batting average is 298. The team OPS is 9-10, which would be excellent statistics for an individual player, never mind a team. 
Here's Josh Naylor, one for one. A double that scored a run back in the first inning, and then he himself scored a run on the Rodriguez home run three batters later. 5-1 Chihuahuas in the seconds, and time called by the home plate umpire. We are in the bottom of the seconds. Powell's at first base. 10 for 10 trying to steal bases this year. Here's the pitch. Naylor takes it for a call. It's strike. No balls, one strike. Ryan Howard, long navy blue sleeves on. Comes set for Las Vegas. Powell takes off, and a block has been called. So Powell will get second. Boog Powell broke for second base too early. They yelled for Howard. He stepped off, but I think he made a throwing motion and did not release a throw. I think that's why he's called for a block there. Powell down to second base. And the Chihuahuas now, with the base hit by Naylor, could bring in another run. Let's watch here. Howard in the video replay stepped off, and while on the mound... Ran at Powell, ran off the mound, and at that point was called for the balk. Pitch to Naylor, swung on, line drive, right field. Diving attempt by Joseph, he knocks it down, the ball's in right. Peyton has it, and no throw home. Powell around third, and he scores. It's 6-1, to one. and the balk costing Las Vegas. That's what allowed Powell to get down to seconds. RBI single by Naylor. Two hits hit two RBIs at two innings for him. It is 6-1 Chihuahuas. Next is Ty France. France 0 for 1 with a strikeout back in the first inning. Here's the set by Howard and the pitch. France swings at the foul back to the screen. In this inning, a walk, a single, a sack fly, a fielder's choice, and another single. Two runs are in. Chihuahuas last night scored in six different innings. And they're two for two, scoring in innings tonight. Brian Howard, a chest high set. And the 0-1 to tie France. He takes it high for a ball. One ball, one strike. Howard is ready to go. And he brings it in. Swing a line drive left field. Martini heading back, and this one's over his head. On a bounce, it hits the wall. Naylor coming around. They're sending Naylor. Mateo does not throw it home. 7 1 Chihuahuas. A double by Ty France. His 20th double of the year. Peyton taps the bat on the far side of home plate. Navy socks up high. Emmanuel Ramirez delivers. Swinging a fly ball left field down the line. Twisting Powell going over near the stands with the ball lands in the upper deck. It takes a bounce and goes back on the field. No balls, one strike. So look at the standings in the Pacific Coast League. The best record in the PCL. Just a couple of games better than the Chihuahuas is San Antonio at 64 and 40. Brewers Triple A team. 0 1, fly ball to right field, playable for Naylor. A few steps in and he catches. One down in the top of the third. And the order turns around to the top. Here's Jorge Mateo. Mateo, one for one, with a base hit and a run back in the first inning. Ramirez winds up and fires. Taken down low for a ball, 1-0. San Antonio's at first place over Round Rock by 4.5. Round Rock, one of the better records in the PCL, third best. Here's a called strike, and yet they're a second place team because of the division that they're in. They would be in first place in two other divisions, but in second in that division. One ball, one strike. Swing and a ground ball foul past third. And a sign of how good San Antonio has been, New Orleans in third in that division, the Marlins AAA team. 
with a 54 and 49 record. Solid record, five games over, but they are nine and a half back. Oklahoma City, 15 and a half back in that American Southern. Wind up by Ramirez in the one, two. Swinging a fly ball, hit deep left field. Powell back approaching the wall. It'll be close, it is gone. Jorge Mateo hits a home run. He hit one to right field last night in Las Vegas. It's one to left field tonight. It's seven to two. The Chihuahuas led seven to one entering this third inning, but a solo home run by Mateo. He's now two for two with two runs scored. One down, nobody on base for Dustin Fowler. Left hand hitter, the center fielder for the Aviators, 0 for 1 with the ground ball to the shortstop. Ramirez winds and deals. Fastball outside. One ball, no strikes. In the American Northern Division, the biggest first place lead in the entire league belongs to Iowa, the Cubs Triple A team. 1 0. Taken for a called strike, one and one. Iowa nine games up on second place Omaha, the Royals AAA club, 13 and a half up on Nashville, 14 up on fourth place Memphis. Fowler swings and misses at a change. Those are the two teams that Chihuahuas will see next. They go to Tennessee, will play at Nashville for three, will play at Memphis for four. And that road trip begins on Tuesday. One, two to Fowler. Swinging a foul ball back and out of play. As we mentioned at the tail end of Sports Talk, that road trip will very often have us cutting into the end of Sports Talk as the Chihuahuas play in the central time zone. One, two, it's a dusted fouler from Emmanuel Ramirez. Here's the pitch. Swinging a foul ball, third base side. Scooped up by Michael Geddes, who had a helmet in his hand, getting ready to coach first base. Reaches over the railing. It catches the ball in the helmet. One ball, two strikes. The kick and the pitch. Swinging a ground ball near first. Sliding attempt by France, but it gets under him. Pinballs off the wall, goes into the right field corner. Naylor to pick it up, and Fowler has a double. Ground ball. Ty, I think, reaching for it, but... It's not that he couldn't reach it, it's that it got under him on the dive. That ground ball double just inside first base. And Fowler has his 19th double of the year. It'll bring up Nick Martini. In the Pacific Northern Division, things are tight. That's the closest out of the four divisions in the PCL. At the moment, Sacramento, the Giants affiliate in first place by three games on Fresno. Here's the set. And the pitch home. Outside for a ball, 1-0. Once a juggernaut in the Pacific Coast League, making the playoffs 10 times in 12 years. Sacramento has not been in in a while. Back when they were at Nays affiliate in 2012 was the most recent time that Sacramento was in the PCL playoffs. 1-0. Here's the pitch from Ramirez. Fastball for a called strike. Fresno, though, lurking in second place, just three games back. Tacoma, as we mentioned earlier, losers of six in a row. They are in third, eight back, and Reno at fourth, 11 back. In the third inning of our ball game, it's seven to two Chihuahuas with Las Vegas batting. Fowler at second base. The one one to Nick Martini. Here's the pitch. Taken down low for a ball. Two balls, one strike. So then the Chihuahuas division. El Paso at first, Las Vegas at second, four back, and then the two teams tied for third at 49 and, excuse me, 45 at 59, Albuquerque and Salt Lake. Those two clubs 18 games back with around 35 to play. Those two teams are essentially done. The 2-1, here's the pitch. Swing and a foul tip off the umpire. Well, no, the umpire's saying this is a live ball. It's a swing and a miss. The noise we heard was perhaps the ball hitting either Allen or Bryant Fields, the home plate umpire. But Allen had to pick that up because it was live, and there's a runner at second base. So that was a clean swing and miss to Martini. If 
Fowler at second, one down, third inning. It is 7 2 Chihuahuas, Las Vegas batting. Ramirez brings it in. Swinging a fly ball left field. Powell underneath it. He catches. And back to second base goes Fowler. One on with two down for Seth Brown. Brown, a left handed hitter, 0 for 1 with a pop out to the third baseman. Here's the pitch home. Taking high for a ball. One ball, no strikes on Seth Brown. One-0 -oh pitch. Taken for a call at strike. One ball, one strike on Brown. Chihuahuas are ahead by five runs in the third inning. Emmanuel Ramirez, 1-1, one, one. here's the pitch. Swinging a fly ball to deep right center field. Jankowski running back, glancing at the wall. It is gone. Las Vegas has its second home run of the inning, and things are tightening up in downtown El Paso. It's now 7-4, a game that very recently was 7-1. Seth Brown, who had three home runs in the three games of the series, including one last night, has hit a two-run shot. We begin the bottom of the third. It is 7-4 Chihuahuas. And Kyle Finnegan comes in, a right-hander, 6'2", 195 pounds, 27 years old. He will face Vossler. Finnegan's pitch, fastball, called, strike. No balls, one strike. Runner at first base, nobody out. 7-4 Chihuahuas. Here's the pitch. Vossler pulls it on the ground, knocked down by the first baseman Brown, picks it up, steps on the bag, throws to second into left field. Nobody sees the ball is there, including the runner, and Rodriguez stays. Diving play by Brown to knock it down. Hard hit ball. If he wasn't holding on the runner, that's probably an extra base hit down the line. And he picked up the ball foot on the base, tried for the double play, but the throw was wild. And now Seth Mejia's green. So Vossler's out on the hard ground ball at first, down to second base Rodriguez. And now Mejia's green. As for the new pitcher, Finnegan, 2-0 this year at 10 AAA games with a 1.72 ERA. the pitch. Fastball for a call at strike. Finnegan has two saves. 15 at two-thirds innings, 11 hits, 19 strikeouts, and nine walks. This is the second time he's faced the Chihuahuas. He came in at Las Vegas in game one of that series, the one game that Las Vegas won, and pitched a scoreless inning. Here's the pitch. Fastball for a call at strike. No balls at two strikes. Seven to four, Chihuahuas in the bottom of the third. One down, Mejias Breen hitting. Walked and scored back at the second and hits again in the third. Finnegan deals, it throws one to the screen on a fly. Needless to say, a wild pitch. Getting Rodriguez down to third. Murphy had to elevate and the ball went over his mitt and hit the screen above the bricks on a fly. So a runner at third base now.
Some of the fans right behind the net startled as that pitch hit the screen right in front of them. Infield moving in for Las Vegas. One, two, stopped there by Murphy on a pitch in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. So we began this story before the pitching change, the oddity of the Jason Vossler cycle last night. Vossler last night was batting in the sixth inning. And Ty France was at first base. Vossler hit a ground ball past the third baseman down the left field line into the corner. Easily a double. That was not a question. 2-2. Two, two. Check swing foul ball. Landing in front of the first base dugout. Still 2-2. Two and two. So the runner, France, blasted through a stop sign. Ran home. And when the incoming throw hit him on the helmet, he scored. Meanwhile, Vossler did not break stride. Kept on running and went to third base. And the question is, will it be a double and that he advanced the third on the throw or will it be scored a triple two balls and two strikes here's the pitch swinging a ground ball infield in diving attempt at the second baseman Joseph can't reach it that's a base hit to center and Rodriguez scores 8-4 Chihuahuas in the third inning a base hit by Seth Mejia's brain through the drawn in infield it'll bring up Matthew Batten Bat one for one with a base hit back in the seconds. As it turns out, the Las Vegas official scorer ruling it a triple, which became more noticeable one inning later when Vossler hit a home run, the only hit he was seeking for the cycle. But the thing is, the sense in the dugout was that that sixth inning play was a double and not a triple. So there was no reaction outside of your usual home run when it came to Vossler's home run. Here's a pitch inside for a ball, 1-0. But as things started appearing on Twitter about the cycle, things migrated to people's phones, and a text reached the athletic training staff in the dugout, who then relayed to Edwin Rodriguez that a cycle had been achieved. Edwin then told Vossler. Swing and a miss by Batten, one ball, one strike. 8-4 Chihuahuas in the third inning. So most of the time, a batter knows what they've done that day, and they are aware when the final hit has been completed that it clinched a cycle, but not last night. Vossler did not find out until an inning or two later, after his home run, that he had, in fact, hit for the cycle. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch to Batten. Taken for a called strike. One at two on Batten. Mejia's Marine at first base. One down, 8 4 Chihuahuas in the third. Here's the pitch. Batten bends out of the way. It's a ball high and tight. So the line is finished now on the starting pitcher tonight in his Triple A debut, Brian Howard. Two innings, seven hits, eight runs all earned. Two walks, one strikeout, and allowed one home run. He was at Double A Midland prior to today. The 2-2, two, two. Batten swings, hits a foul ball back to the screen. Still two balls and two strikes. Kyle Finnegan, 27 years old, born in Detroit. Played in college at Texas State at San Marcos. Signed in 2013 by Oakland. The 2-2. Two, two. Swinging a fly ball to right center field. Fowler running back toward the track. And it one hops the wall. Batten going to second. He stays there. Mateo relays to the plate. Mejia Green scores standing up. 9-4 Chihuahuas. Uh, Matthew Batten's RBI double. Batten's 15th double of the year. And a 
brings up Travis Jankowski. Single and a sack fly for him tonight. Jankowski, one for one, one RBI. Nine for Chihuahuas in the third inning. Finnegan set, a look at seconds. And the pitch home. Fastball for a called strike. No balls, one strike. Finnegan off and on. Double A and triple A each of the past four years, including this year. 21 games at Midland, 10 games at Las Vegas. The pitch. Jankowski takes it low. One ball, one strike. Chihuahua's coming in with two fewer hits than league leading Las Vegas. 1-1. One, one. Outside for a ball. Two balls, one strike on Jankowski. Here's the set by Finnegan. And the pitch. Fastball high. Three balls and one strike. The second highest home run total in the Pacific Coast League is Reno with 181. Chihuahuas have 25 more. Swing and a miss there. Three and two to Jankowski. Most runs in the league goes to El Paso. Ten more than Las Vegas. And tonight a 9-4 Chihuahuas lead in the bottom of the third. Finnegan set. And the pitch. Swing the line drive, left field down the line, slicing, but the ball is in the corner, not a play. We have the makings of a Pacific Coast League, Pacific Conference Classic tonight. Probably won't see nine to four games next road trip when the Chihuahuas are in Nashville and Memphis. to humid sea level ballparks. A lot more pitcher friendly there. Finnegan steps off, looks at seconds. And back in Batten. Three balls, two strikes on Jankowski. Finnegan's three, two. Swinging a line drive, left field down the line. It lands fair. Batten's around third. He will score the 10th run for the Chihuahuas. Jankowski to second. 10-4 El Paso in the third inning. Jankowski hits an RBI double. Two RBIs and two hits for him. And three innings tonight. And Batten is in to score. Next batter for El Paso, Boog Powell, one for two. Single and fielder's choice. The pitch. Taken down low for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Finnegan's 1-0. Inside for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Still just one down here in the bottom of the third. Three runs are in. And ten runs on ten hits for El Paso. One night after striking 19 hits at Las Vegas. Four runs on five hits for Las Vegas. And neither side has made an error. 2-0. Swinging a line drive left field. Charging in Martini. Plays it on one bounce. Lance Burkhardt holding the runner. Jankowski at third. Base hit for Powell, 11 Chihuahuas hits. And again, it's the third inning. Uh, 
Up next, Josh Naylor. Naylor two for two. Two singles today. 10-4 Chihuahuas. At one point it was 7-1, and then quickly Las Vegas got it to 7-4, so Chihuahuas certainly full speed ahead, looking to pile on runs. They've seen firsthand what Las Vegas can do. Here's the step off there. And no pickoff throw made by Finnegan. Most hits by the Chihuahuas in one game in team history is 23. They have 11 hits and it's the third inning. Pitch again, Finnegan steps off. Pitch clock is off, so no penalty there. Jankowski at third, Powell at first. One down. Here's the set. And the pitch into Naylor. Fastball for a call. It's strike. No balls, one strike. The 0 1. Swinging a ground ball to the shortstop. Mateo slides and it bounces over him. Naylor's aboard. Jankowski scores. 11 4. Josh Naylor, three for three in three innings today. And Mateo, it looked like he was in front of it. He hits the ground trying to scoop it and get it to second base quickly, and the ball bounces over the glove. It is 11 to 4. And we go to the fourth inning. Here's Corbin Joseph, left-hand hitting second baseman for Las Vegas. Takes a pitch outside for ball one. One ball, no strikes on Joseph. He struck out the swinging against Ramirez back in the seconds. Wind up and the pitch. Taken inside, two balls, no strikes on Joseph. Sean Murphy on deck and then Bo Taylor against Ramirez. Three Chihuahuas on the right side, including Mejia's Marine, the shortstop. The pitch taken low for a ball, 3-0. Vossler, the third baseman, standing where a shortstop would be. So a lot of space in between Vossler, the infielder, most to the left, and the third base line. Fastball called strike, three balls, one strike on Corbin Joseph to begin the fourth. Chihuahuas four runs in the first, three in the second, and four in the third. Wind up and 3-1. Joseph takes it for a called strike, three and two. No swings yet in the inning. Ramirez, three consecutive balls, countered by two straight called strikes. And the count, three and two. Here's the wind up and the pitch. Swinging a ground ball to the shortstop, but he is bringing fields it on the second baseman side, lobs over to first. He was shifting that way, and Joseph is out 6-3. Up next, Sean Murphy. Eleven to four, Chihuahuas. Murphy over one, a ground ball to second. Ramirez deals. Fastball belted to deep left field. It's high up and gone. Sean Murphy hits a home run for the Aviators. His third of the year. And that makes it 11 to 5. Murphy now one for two. Solo homer against Emmanuel Ramirez. That is three home runs by the Aviators. All of them coming in the past two innings. Next batter, Bo Taylor, left-hand hitting DH. 
the strikeout back in the seconds. Ramirez hums it in. Fastball taken low. One ball, no strikes. So 11 runs and 11 hits for the Chihuahuas through their first three offensive innings. Five runs on six hits for Las Vegas, one error. Here's a call, strike. One ball, one strike. The toss home on one and one. Down low for a ball. Two balls, one strike on Bo Taylor. Toss home on two and one. Swinging a ground ball to first base. Plucked by France. Waves off the pitcher and steps on the bag. Taylor is out, two away. And now the number nine batter, Mark Payton. 11-5 El Paso. Payton's over one, hit a fly ball to the right fielder back in the third inning. Ramirez delivers. Fastball, sky to left field. Powell's running in. Continues in and catches it. We move along to the bottom of the fourth, and the Chihuahuas are ahead by six runs, 11 to 5. Here's the pitch. Fastball for a call. Strike on Austin Allen. Allen over two. Pop out to third and a fly ball to center in the game. Here's the set. And time called by the home plate umpire. Here's the set by Finnegan and the pitch. Swinging a foul ball back to the screen. No balls at two strikes. No balls at two strikes on Allen. Finnegan delivers. Swing and a miss on a high fastball. 92 miles an hour. Allen is out. Finnegan, the second pitcher of the game. Came in. After this guy, Adderlin Rodriguez, walked on four pitches back in the third. So the starting pitcher went two plus innings. This is now the second inning of work for Finnegan, the reliever. Adderlin also has a home run today. Three run shot back at the first. Fastball for a call strike here. No balls, one strike. They've been rained out in Albuquerque. They did not start that game tonight. They had a monsoon up there. The 0 1. Adderlin takes it for a call strike. No balls and two strikes on Rodriguez. Bottom of the fourth in our ball game, 11 to 5, Chihuahuas. Here's the pitch. Swinging a foul ball back to the screen. It'll be picked up by Esteban Quiros, the first baseman, as the ball flung over that way. First base coach, I should say, for the Chihuahuas. Rodriguez in there. Chihuahuas using a DH in this series. Likewise, for next series, they'll take on the Rangers Triple A team, Nashville. The 0 2. Rodriguez takes it outside for a ball, 1 at 2. There's a high scoring game going on in Oklahoma City, typically more of a pitcher's park, but that game has Memphis ahead 13 to 10 in the sixth inning. Here's the set and the one two. Swinging a fly ball foul, a lot of play to the right off the light stand, takes a high bounce, comes back down and lands on the field. One ball, two strikes. And Memphis reportedly has a cycle in that game. Yeah, the Redbirds have hit for the cycle tonight. One ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Rodriguez is out. 
Two batters, two strikeouts in the bottom of the fourth. 11 to 5 Chihuahuas. Redbirds outfielder Randy Arozarena, the left fielder last year that Carlos Asuaje hit his cycle clinching triple over, has hit for the cycle tonight and did so in five innings for the Memphis Redbirds. Arozarena, four for four, four RBIs. Here's Jason Bossler speaking of cycles. He had one last night. And he swings here, hitting a high fly ball to left field. Martini moving toward the line. Should end the inning. Martini catches it, and it does end the inning. And Jorge Mateo, tonight's leadoff hitter, stepping to bat for the Aviators. Two for two, single and a home run. Emmanuel Ramirez winds up and delivers home. Fastball taken low, ball one. So the Chihuahuas, for the first time, held without a run tonight in the bottom of the fourth. They had four each in the first and third, and three in the seconds. 1-0, fastball, nice pitch, called strike. One ball, one strike. As for the Aviators, one run each in the first and fourth, and a three-run third tonight. They trailed the Chihuahuas 11-5. Next pitch swung on and missed, 1-2. So a lot going on on the scoreboard tonight. 17 combined hits through four innings. 1-2 to Mateo. Swinging the ground ball to the third baseman. Bossler fields it. He throws. Close play. Mateo is saved. Infield hit. Chopper to Vossler. And Mateo's aboard. He's three for three. That's his best tool, his speed. Very fast runner. And it looks like a good call by the umpire. Foot on the bag there. Here is Dustin Fowler, left-hand hitter, with a ground ball to the shortstop and a double in the game. Ramirez set. And he pauses. Now pushes in the next pitch, outside for a ball. One ball, no strikes on Fowler. Pick out throw, over to first, and back in Mateo. Our friend Medved on Twitter urging me to answer my phone a couple of innings ago. Yeah, we've uh, talked about this lately. It's uh, about once a night. Suddenly those robocalls are hitting me. One ball and no strikes. And the pitch, Emmanuel Ramirez steps off before the pitch comes home. Problem is, you want to... Uh, you can't just completely turn the phone off in case the studio has to get a hold of you, so probably meet in the middle and lower the ringtone so Medved and others don't hear it when those calls are coming in. 1-0 to Fowler. Here's the pitch. Outside for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. It's hard to stop those calls no matter how hard you try. The 2-0, swinging a deep fly ball to right field, hooking down the line. It's over the wall, fair ball, home run, Dustin Fowler. And Las Vegas will not go away. Once again, tightening things up. It's 11-7, a game that was 11-4. Dustin Fowler, 20th homer of the year. Two runs here in the fifth inning, no outs. Nick Martini, the batter. Here's the pitch. It's high for ball one. So meeting at the mound over, and ball one to Martini. Martini over at two, but does have an RBI in the game. Here's a call at strike. Takes a ball low there. Two balls, one strike. 
So these two teams played three times at Las Vegas Ballpark the past three nights. And the schedule, just as a quirk, not by design, has them playing each other in El Paso for these three days. 2-1. Swinging a fly ball foul out of play to the left. Two balls, two strikes. And today the two teams were on the same flight. Two balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swinging a ground ball foul past first base. One of the great things about a trip to Las Vegas is that oftentimes it's a direct flight back, making the travel shorter than a normal day that the Chihuahuas begin a homestand on. And Chihuahuas players were able to be at the airport by uh, around 10.30 a.m. today in El Paso, 2-2. Two -two. Inside for a ball, 3-2. and two. And likewise for the Aviators, neither team took batting practice on the field prior to the game today. You'll probably see them out there tomorrow in the afternoon. 3-2. Swinging a line drive right field. Naylor moving back, backpedaling, continues back. It's over his head and it hits the wall. A throw from right field, not in time. Feet for a slide, Martini's in there. A double. Three consecutive hits here in the fifth inning for the Aviators, who are making things interesting in the fifth. Down by just four runs with a runner on and nobody out. Up next is Seth Brown. It's not all too uncommon for the Chihuahuas to be on the same flight as an opposing team. But the difference was it's when they're arriving to the new city. Sometimes you'll see that on the first leg of a journey from two teams that just played the night before, and then they go their separate ways after that on a layover. Pitch to Brown coming in. Swinging a fly ball to deep center. Moving back Jankowski near the wall. Jankowski jumps in. He misplays it. He couldn't catch it around second base. Brown going to third. Around third base now Martini. And it's a triple. One run scores. It's 11-8. Jankowski almost made a nice jump and catch, but he was feeling for the wall trying to gather where it was. Again, it would have been a nice play. It's not as if he was standing under it, but Jankowski one of the best outfielders the Chihuahuas have ever had. I think he's wishing he got a do-over on that one. He jumped, almost caught it, then landed. The ball hit the base of the wall. And Brown ran to third base. So Brown now two for three with a homer and a triple. That run makes it 11 to eight with a runner at third and a breaking ball high for ball one on Sheldon Noisy. A game that was 11-4 Chihuahuas is now 11-8 in the fifth inning. After four consecutive hits, single, homer, double, triple. Here's the pitch home. Breaking ball for a called strike. Yeah, Jankowski almost had it. That would have been a big play. It would have perhaps had Martini tag up and go second to third. But Martini had to wait and see if the ball would be caught. So the batter was right on his heels as he was approaching third base. 1-1, one, one, swinging a ground ball, left side, diving play, Mejia's green at short, throws from his knees, stretching at first, France, but not in time. Infield hit for Voss, excuse me, for Noisy. And it scores Brown to make it 11-9. Seth Mejia's green swings and fouls one back and out of play on a fly over the netting. No balls, one strike. Mejia's green today, a walk and a single. Two runs scored. And his two plate appearances for El Paso. AJ Puck's 0-1. Inside for a ball. One ball, one strike. And Puck made his AAA debut against the Chihuahuas in the most recent series at Las Vegas. Went one inning and got a win. So he's 1-0. Two innings of work. One hit, two strikeouts, no walks. Next pitch, swung on and missed. One at two. On a 96-mile-an-hour fastball from Puck. Tall, long-haired, left-handed pitcher. So Steven Wilson got a double play to end the four-run top of the fifth inning by the Aviators, which saw Las Vegas cut it to within two. It's an 11-9 game. One, two, swinging a fly ball to right field, playable for Peyton. He's running in, but now Brown is right up against the wall and it actually ends up in the stands. The wind just gliding that one into the stands near the Fiesta patio. It is a foul ball out of play. One at two, 
to Mejias Breen. And Puck steps off, taps his black glove on his chest, taking the blame for that lapse in time. One, two, swinging a ground ball foul behind the third base coach, and the ball umped into the stands. One ball, two strikes on Mejias Breen. Prudential, proud to present today's Padres report. A look at the Chihuahuas Major League affiliate, the San Diego Padres. Here's the pitch. Inside for a ball, two balls, two strikes. The Giants are ahead of the Padres, 1-0. And that game is in the fourth inning. And Jeff Samarja, who faced the Chihuahuas last season on a major league injury rehab assignment, is the starting pitcher tonight for the Giants. The 2-2, two, two, swinging a ground ball foul past third. And it stays two balls, two strikes. So far, Samarja, three shutout innings. On the other side, a brief former Chihuahua, Joey Lucchese, Four innings, one run allowed on one hit, striking out six, walking one for the Padres at Petco Park. Two balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swinging a fly ball to left field. This one is playable. Martini is running in, but the shortstop Mateo is out on the outfield. Grass catches the ball. Mejias Breen is out. One down, fifth inning. The Chihuahuas up 11-9. Brings up Matthew Batten, two for two, with a single and a double. Puck comes set, and the pitch into Batten, swinging a foul ball back to the screen. So the Giants are ahead 1 0 in the fourth inning. Former Chihuahua is in the mix on the position player side. Hunter Renfro, 0 for 1. Luis Urias 0 for 1. Austin Hedges likewise 0 for 1. Manuel Margo, the current batter for the Padres, 0 for 1 tonight. Just one hit for the Padres so far early, and it was by Fernando Tatis Jr., the Rookie of the Year candidate. 0 1 inside for a ball. One ball, one strike on Matthew Batten. Luis Urias trying to get things going, has made some nice defensive plays, and Reach base via walks and hits in the Wrigley Field Series, but in a tough series at New York in his most recent series with the Padres and his three for 40 this season. 1-1, one, one. inside corner called strike, one ball, two strikes on Matthew Batten. Eleven to nine Chihuahuas in the bottom of the fifth inning. Pucks want two. Batten swings, flies one off to the right. Brown chasing it, but runs out of room. This ball in the stands. One ball, two strikes on Matthew Batten. Tonight's leadoff hitter, Travis Jankowski, is on deck for El Paso. set by Puck and the one two outside for a ball two balls two strikes on Matthew Batten Batten starting at second base today has played more shortstop than seconds but Esteban Quiro is a day off two two called strike three Two away in the fifth inning with nobody on base. Up next, Travis Jankowski. Jankowski, left-handed hitter. In tonight's game, two for two, single, double, sack fly, two RBIs total. Puck delivers, fastball for a called strike. No balls and one strike. 
Don't be surprised to see the scoring slow down in this one. Two excellent bullpens right now. That is a strength of both El Paso and Las Vegas. And we saw that in the Las Vegas portion of the series. Here's a ground ball up the middle. Mateo gloves it, and he throws in time. Bo Taylor steps into bat, leading off the sixth inning for Las Vegas. Over for two with a ground ball to the first baseman and a strikeout in the game. This will be the first time that he faces Steven Wilson, the Chihuahua's reliever. The score 11 to nine, El Paso. Left-hander Brad Wick is warming in the pen for the Chihuahuas. Here's the pitch to Bo Taylor. Fastball high, one ball, no strikes. Uh, Taylor, tonight's DH for the Aviators. Bright orange batting gloves for Taylor, along with those orange and yellow sleeves. New look for the Aviators this year. 1-0 pitch. Outside for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Wilson wanted the call. Two balls and no strikes on Bo Taylor. Wilson, 2-0, uh, brings it in. Swinging a fly ball, foul out of play. Two balls, one strike on Bo Taylor. So they were rained out in Albuquerque tonight. And they will play a doubleheader tomorrow up at Isotopes Park. Two balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. It is high for a ball. That update we got you last inning, our Prudential Padres report, brought to you by Prudential, where we grow with you from the small league to the big league. Prudential, bring your challenges. The 3-1. Inside for ball four. Taylor's on, and the tying run comes to the plate. And a game that the Chihuahuas led 11-4 in the fourth inning. It's now 11-9 in the sixth inning. With the runner on. Mark Payton, the batter, over two, with a fly ball to right and a fly ball to left. A shift on. Mejia's bringing the shortstop up the middle. And the second baseman Batten back to where a second baseman would be. Here's the pitch. Swinging a deep fly ball. This might tie it. Right field. Naylor back at the wall. It is gone. Mark Payton hits a two-run homer. It is 11-11 in the sixth inning. Mark Payton, his 18th homer of the year. That is five Las Vegas home runs. And we are only in the sixth inning. Here's Jorge Mateo. Three for three today. Two singles and a home run. Wilson set. And the pitch. Swinging a ground ball up the middle. Fielded by Batten. And he throws. Mateo is out. Got to rush the throw and Mateo's running. Batten did a nice job there. Fielding the second high bounce. And Mateo out at first. So one pitch after the home run. Ground ball to the second baseman, and there's one down. So Las Vegas fighting their way back into the game here. It was an 11-4 Chihuahua's lead. Earlier in the game, a 7-1 Chihuahua's lead. Now it's 11-11. Pitch to Dustin Fowler. Swinging a pulled ball, foul on a bounce. It hits the wall, picked up by Naylor, the right fielder who lobs it over the fence. The shorter wall down there in right. Fowler has one of those home runs. He hit one in the fifth inning. Also a double and a ground ball to the shortstop today. Las Vegas 12 hits. The Chihuahuas with 11. Here's the set and the pitch. Swing and a miss. No balls and two strikes on Dustin Fowler. No balls at two strikes. Here's the set. And the 
toss in. Outside for a ball. One ball, two strikes on Fowler. One, two pitch home. Low skips away from Allen, the catcher. Two balls, two strikes. Oakland's first year major league affiliate, the Oakland A's, having quite a season. They are up to 58 and 46 in second place in the West, but they are in the mix for a wild card race. The two, two. Swing and a foul ball off Fowler. It stays two balls, two strikes. In fact, the A's are currently tied with the Tampa Bay Rays for the second wild card spot. The other occupied by Cleveland in the American League with Boston a half game back. Angels four back for the wild card. Here's the set. And the two, two. Swinging a foul ball back to the screen. It stays two balls, two strikes. Padres opponent these days, the Giants, have entered the mix at 52 and 51, three games back in the NL wild card race. A vault that a lot of people did not see coming. San Francisco for a while this year was in last place in the NL West. The two, two to Dustin Fowler. Swinging a line drive, left center field gap. Powell heading over the left fielder. He runs it down. Two away. Back to back outs following that two run homer. The score 11 11 in the sixth inning. And the batter's Nick Martini. Martini, one for three. Double and an RBI ground ball today. The Padres have fallen to six and a half back in the NL wild card race. The Padres are playing so well going into the All Star break, but they have not played well since the break. Here's the pitch to Nick Martini, taken down low for a ball. 11 11 tie in our ball game in the sixth inning. Stephen Wilson set. And the 1 0. Taken for a called strike. One ball, one strike. Padres have dropped nine out of their last 12 games. One ball, one strike. Swinging a fly ball to deep right field. Naylor is back, turning, looking. This one's gone. Martini hits a home run. It's 12-11 Aviators. Las Vegas first lead since the top of the first inning. Solo home run by Nick Martini. High scoring affair here at the end of six innings. It is 12-11 Las Vegas. Here's the 1-0. Swinging a line drive, center field. Jankowski comes in, the ball lands. He plays it on two hops and gets it in quickly. Base hit for Noisy, who's three for four. The next hitter for the Aviators, Corbin Joseph, 0 for three. 1-1. One, one. Swinging a ground ball through the open left side. The shift was on. It gets by Vossler. Ground ball, base hit to left. And Las Vegas ahead 12-11 now with two on base at the seventh inning. Noisy down to second. Joseph at first. And the batter, Sean Murphy. Murphy one for three. Hit a solo home run to left field back in the fourth inning. At the time, that was against Ramirez. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball. It is high, ball one. Las Vegas up to 15 hits. Chihuahua's at 19 at Las Vegas last night. Swinging a deep fly ball to center. Jankowski back near the wall. It is gone. It ties a Las Vegas AAA baseball record. Seven home runs in one game. And this three-run shot makes it 15-11 Aviators. It's Murphy's second homer of the game and the seventh for the team. 
So two base hits to begin the inning and then the home run by Murphy. Carries over the wall at center and it looked like it cleared the stadium. Over Chico's playground out there. 15-11 Las Vegas. Las Vegas has scored the most recent 11 runs of this game. This game was 11-4 Chihuahuas in the fourth inning. Here is Bo Taylor, the pitch. Swinging a foul ball back to the screen. So Las Vegas has eclipsed this season's high. They had a couple of six home run games for the team total earlier this year. This is their first at seven. And a tough turn of events here for the Chihuahuas who have a shot to go into first place by five games tonight. But they are down by four runs in the field in the seventh inning. Brad Wicks 0-1, swinging a foul fly ball onto the roof, off to the third base side. No balls, two strikes. Of course, you don't have to rewind too far to see a dramatic ninth inning comeback by the Chihuahuas. They were at Reno last road trip and trailed 7-2 in the ninth inning and came back to win. 0-2. Fastball for a call at third strike. One down here, seventh inning. Nobody on base. And it brings up Mark Payton. Payton one for three with a home run back in the sixth inning. Toss home. Down low for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Not often the Chihuahuas are out homer. They lead all of professional baseball in home runs. But tonight Las Vegas doing that in a big way as the Chihuahuas have hit one compared to the Aviators. Seven. 1-0. Outside for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Bronzo Patrick Opesso's pitching coach from the dugout asking, was it outside, was it high, why was it a ball? And the 2-0, swing and a high fly ball to right field, Naylor back on the warning track, reaching for the wall, he jumps and the ball is gone! It goes over the line, Batten's running out there because he believes it might be a live ball, but this is a home run by Mark Payton, his second of the night. And it looked like Naylor was in control and was about to catch it, but it just got over the wall by a matter of inches. 16-11. Eight Las Vegas home runs. So that breaks the record. It is 16-11 Las Vegas. Six of the nine aviators have at least one home run, including Fowler. The 0-1 from Brad Wick. Swing and a high fly ball. Naylor back and right again. Naylor looks up and again it's gone into the front row. And Wick takes off his cap. He can't believe it on the mound. Las Vegas has hit three homers in the inning. Nine in the game, which extends a franchise record for home runs in one game. That's Fowler's second of the night. And it's 17-11. Top two teams in the Southern Division meeting here. Chihuahuas coming in at first place by four games. Looking to add some distance as they pursue a fifth straight division title. Oh, two outside for a ball, one ball, two strikes. It's been these two teams all season. The other two in the division, Salt Lake and Albuquerque, really have not contended at any point this year. But it's been Las Vegas and El Paso alternating early then the Chihuahuas for a while. Here's a fly ball down the left field line. Powell heading back near the wall. It hits the fence on a fly. It takes a big bounce past Powell. Jankowski there to back it up. Picks it up and throws it in quickly holding Joseph to a double. Nice job by Jankowski. Covered a lot of ground there to back up that play as it banked off the wall. Joseph has his second hit of the night and it brings up Sean Murphy who's two for four with two home runs.
two down at the top of the eighth inning. 17-11, Las Vegas ahead. Here's the set by McGill. And the pitch. Breaking ball, hit well to center. Jankowski back, looks up. It is gone. Las Vegas ties a league record. 10 team home runs in one game. And Sean Murphy hits his third. The score is now 19-11. It hit the top of the batter's eye and bounced out of the ballpark. Murphy came in with two home runs this season, has three in the game tonight. At the top of the ninth inning, the Chihuahua's second baseman coming into pitch. Esteban Quiroz comes in to play second base. Here's the pitch. Mark Payton swings and lines one. Caught by Quiroz, the new second baseman. One pitch, one out. And Trevor McGill, the previous pitcher, one inning, two hits. Two runs, both earned. No walks and one strikeout. And Batten comes in. He's done this a handful of times now this year. This is Matthew Batten's fourth pitching appearance. No wins, no losses. Floats in a breaking ball for a called strike, 0 and 1. Three innings total for Batten, two hits allowed, one run allowed, one home run allowed, one walk, one strikeout. So an ERA of 3, 0 1. Outside for a ball. One ball, one strike. Breaking ball down low. Two balls, one strike. The batter Jorge Mateo, three for five. With two singles and a homer. Line drive, left field. Powell back near the wall. It is gone. A new Pacific Coast League record. 11 Las Vegas home runs tonight. Mateo hits his second of the game. It's 20-11. Mateo claps his hand and heads for the dugout. And the Chihuahuas down to their final out tonight. The 0-2 to Matthew Batten. Here's the pitch. Called strike three. And Las Vegas wins the game 20-11. to 11.